Today, I'm going to show you how to remove people from your vacation photos in Photoshop. Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com, where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is all about removing people from photos in Photoshop. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, let's say you're out with your friends and family and take some great pictures of your group, but there's people in the background. Maybe they're not even looking at the camera, or maybe they're photobombing you and making stupid faces and stuff like that. It's time to get rid of those people and clean up your vacation photos or just like photos of friends and family. So in this episode, we're going to show you a few different methods that you can use to actually remove people from the background of your photos. We're going to show you different tools for getting the job done, including the clone stamp tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, and even content aware fill. Different photos are going to require different techniques, and we're going to cover each of those techniques and tell you what tool is going to be best for different situations. All right, guys, we got a great episode. Let's jump into Photoshop. Okay, so here in Photoshop, we have our image for today. Now, let's say this is you. This is like your hero image. You're so proud. You didn't fall down that day, uh, but you don't know who these people are in the background. We want to get rid of them. So there are a few tools we can look at to doing this job, and we're going to explain the difference between those tools. So let's start over here on our toolbar. Now, the first area we're going to click on is, looks like a little Band-Aid here. We have the Spot Healing Brush Tool and the healing brush tool and the patch tool. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at all three of those tools. And then next we have the clone stamp tool that's right underneath there. Okay, and we're also gonna look at content aware fill. So let's start here with our pat with our healing brush tool and we're gonna start at the top, the spot healing brush tool. So the spot healing brush tool, basically what this is gonna do is it's going to choose an area for you to like, basically, let's say this is our, our blemish that we wanna remove, right? All I have to do is paint over top of this, okay, just like this. And what Photoshop is going to do is it's trying to figure out, okay, well, if this isn't what you want, we're going to paint over our entire person here. If this isn't what you want, it's going to look for similar areas around it. When I let go here, there we go. It's pretty much just going to remove that entire person. Now I can continue to paint right up over top, and you can see it's done a really great job removing that person because I selected out the entire person. You could like, oh, that was pretty easy to do. And yes, it's pretty easy. Now, I do suggest having the option here at the top called content aware. I do suggest having that checked. Now, the reason that worked so well is because I, I basically painted over my entire subject. Let's see this subject here. If I only paint over part of this subject, let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna let go. And you can see it kind of like reconstructs from what it thinks maybe should go there. So if you guys are using the spot healing brush tool, I would recommend using content aware and painting over your entire subject. So in this case, let's go ahead. We'll try painting over this entire subject here. All right. We don't want to paint over the hand. So we're going to show you how to take care of that in just a little bit using selections. And it did a pretty good job here. You can see not perfect. We've like this line you think maybe should continue and we didn't get rid of that so we can we can go and paint over that thing there we go pretty good job not perfect but that's the spot healing brush tool so let me just hit undo a few times out of all the tools that's probably the easiest to use okay next we're going to look at our healing brush tool now with the healing brush tool basically you need to sample a point so I'm going to hold alt or option and when I do I've got a little crosshairs here so alt or option I'm going to sample this point and then I'm going to start painting right over top of this subject. And as I do, you're basically going to see that it's going to kind of fill it in. It uses the texture from wherever I sample and the color from wherever I paint. So in this case, if I want this texture here, Alt or Option, click there. Okay, I can simply start painting over my subject. Now you can see it takes the color from wherever I'm painting. So if we want our subject to totally disappear, we just need to create a larger brush. You can use your open and close brackets on your keyboard to make a larger brush. Let's hold Alt or Option to sample there. Okay, and then I could just paint over my entire subject and the tool is gonna start to figure out, okay, you don't want your subject there. Uh, let's go ahead and just get rid of them. And here you can see I'm sampling this and it's kind of repeating right there. So in this case, what I would do is sample over here and kind of paint down there, all right, and go right over there. And if 
you kind of get it to an area that's re repeated a couple times, no big deal. Just sample again and paint over again. Okay, now that worked pretty well as well. We have a little bit more control with the regular healing brush tool. So again, if I wanted like this texture to continue over there, I can hold Alt or Option and sample that, and then I can kind of continue that texture right over top there. Now in this case, it obviously looks like we've just got a duplicate texture, so you can go in there and change it a little bit, but that's basically the idea between spot healing brush tool pretty much does it for you. The healing brush tool gives you more control of what texture is actually gonna be filled in in those areas. Okay, next tool we're gonna look at is our patch tool. So let's go back, I'm gonna go to my history and go back to the open. Let's go ahead and open our image back to our original state, okay? Now in this case, we're going to create a new layer all right, and any of these things you can do on the existing layer or a new layer. It's a good idea to create a new layer. That way, if you need to undo it or delete it, you can just delete that layer. Okay, now the patch tool has an option as well for content aware, just like we saw with our spot healing brush tool. So here's how the patch tool works. Basically, you can just select your subject. So you just click and drag right around the area you want to remove. Okay, so I just made a selection. All right, now all I have to do is click and drag to the area that I want. So you can see here it would look like clouds, here it would look like snow. Just drag to an area that I think looks pretty good and let go. And basically it just deselect by hitting Control or Command D and that person is completely gone. And you can see it's on a new layer so I can make that visible or invisible. Okay, now let's zoom in here and let's say, all right, well, we wanna get rid of this subject as well. All right, so we're gonna make a little, there we go. Make a selection right around that subject there. And then we can zoom out and say, okay, you know what, this subject we want to, yeah, that looks good there. Let's go ahead and click there. And you can see it brought in some extra information here because it's got this content aware. So basically it's trying to think, okay, maybe you wanna continue going around the glove. So here's a quick tip. if you do need to, like you can see, I made a good selection. The only reason it brought in extra information here is because it's actually touching this glove, okay? So if, for instance, you wanted to do something like this, if you wanted to use a clone stem tool, we'll show you how the clone stem tool works real quick. Alt or Option to sample, just like with the healing brush tool. If you wanna use the clone stem tool and kind of create a little area around, in this case, we're just creating an area around our subject's glove. There we go. Now I can use my patch tool. Let's just go in with our patch tool. We'll go in that area and then it's not gonna try to connect everything back together again. So there we go. And I can bring this right back over there. I'll get some snow. All right, oh, you know what? It did go ahead and it pulled all that information in there. So let's try with our patch tool again. We'll just try selecting that out and maybe say, you know what? Just go right there and hopefully that works a little bit better. All right, cool. So we're looking at different options and it looks like as of right now, it looks like the patch tool is great if you have a subject that's just like isolated, but if your subject is kind of like close to other subjects, it looks like the patch tool is not going to be the best tool for the job. Okay, so we've taken a look at our spot healing brush tool. We've taken a look at our healing brush tool and we've taken a look at our patch tool. Now we're gonna show you the clone stamp tool and how it differs from the healing brush tools. So the clone stamp tool basically makes an exact copy of wherever you sample. In this case, if I hold Alt or Option and click right here on this subject behind and start painting over here, I'm gonna get an exact copy of wherever I paint. Okay, so this is not gonna try to blend anything together. This is no content aware. It's no like intelligence, you know, not no secret algorithms working behind the scenes. It's just making an exact copy of wherever I sample. Now that's very different from, let's say the healing brush tool. The healing brush tool, if I hold Alt or Option and sample here and start painting in here, you're gonna see what this is doing is it's taking the texture from this place, but the color from this place, okay? So texture from here, color from here. So if you want just an exact copy, clone stamp tool is really gonna be the best tool for you. And that is really great for when you have more detailed areas. For instance, here we have some clouds in the background. 
here we have a little area we need to like make sure this uh, line continues there and we've got some detailed areas right around here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. We're going to start off using our clone stamp tool. So again, alt or option to sample and we're just going to start painting over top of our subject. Now feel free to hold alt or option and sample a few different times. Don't feel like you got to do this all in one go. You want to sample similar areas. So in this case, I can hold alt or option here, sample that area and paint right over top of that little stick there. Okay. We're going to sample there and start painting in this area as well. All right. You can make your brush larger or smaller and harder or softer. So this is a little bit more work. Got a siren going on behind us. Welcome to Chicago. <laughs> For those of you guys who are watching who've never been to Chicago, that's what it sounds like. All right, so it's a little bit more work, but the nice thing about the uh, clone stamp tool is you have a lot more control. So in this case, if I want to continue this horizon line, hold Alt or Option on the horizon line and just hover over the area that you want, okay? And then you can just continue that horizon line out in this area. So we're going to see a lot more control with the clone stamp tool. Now I'm basically sampling and painting a few different times here. Okay. We're taking information from the background of our photo and just kind of duplicating it. And I'm, I'm recreating part of the photo. And that's basically the idea with removing people from your vacation photos. You kind of have to recreate the backgrounds just a little bit. There we go. And right down here. But you can see, again, I have so much control over what I'm doing. There we go. That I'm actually able to rebuild the background pretty accurately, you know, including this little line there and whatever's going on with the snow. And as I zoom in really nice and close, let's go ahead and get close to this glove. I can just make a smaller brush, make it a little bit harder and then paint here right to the outline of that glove. Okay. There we go. And if you don't like any areas that you did, just grab your eraser tool and then just erase away right on the border there. And you won't be able to tell that there was a person there. So let's go ahead and zoom out. And there we can see they are completely removed from our background. So on the left hand side, because our subject was just kind of floating there, not interacting with much, we were able to use simple tools like our spot healing brush. Okay. On the right hand side where we had a little bit more of a complex background and our subject was interacting with our foreground subject, the better tool to use there is the clone stamp tool. All right. So that's a basic introduction to the tools, removing people from the background. Now we do have one more option. It's called content aware fill. Let's go ahead and jump in, show you guys how that works. So for our content aware fill, let's go ahead and make this layer invisible for now. And I'm going to duplicate my background layer. Just click and drag it to the new layer icon. Okay. So here we have our background copy. Now content aware fill basically works like this. You're going to start with making a selection. So we're going to grab our lasso tool. Okay. And I'm just going to make a selection right around our subject here. There we go. Just like that. Now we're going to go to edit and down to fill. Okay. And here you have a lot of options. You can choose to fill this selection with black or gray or white. Here you're going to see content aware. Now what this does is basically pulls information from around your photo, tries to figure out what is supposed to go there and fills it in for you. Okay. Now we're going to keep color adaptation uh, checked on. That's just going to do a little bit better job and hit okay. There we go. And I'm just going to deselect and we can see it did a really good job. So again, it's a very simple, easy to use tool. Let's see how it works when we have a little bit closer. Let's just try to get like part of our subject. Okay. I'm going to hit fill and content aware. Pretty good there. All right. Let's see what it does around the glove. That's always tricky when you try to, you know, introduce those areas there. Content aware fill for that. Hey, pretty good. I gotta say, and let's go over here and hit edit and down to fill and then content aware. All right, there we go. So we can see it did do a pretty good job removing our subjects. Now you can see in this case, this is it's content aware filled. You can, it doesn't look a hundred percent great. I mean, our subject is gone, but it, we haven't like extended our background and the clouds don't look exactly like, uh, like I would want them to. So 
let's make this layer visible and see that's where we did our, our clone stamping, which you can definitely tell a little bit that it was clone stamped there, but it is definitely a little bit cleaner than just the content aware fill. So let's say the content aware fill was, that's how you wanted to start off. And then to finish it, you just want to use your clone stamp tool to kind of like make some of these textures continue over. Then that's totally cool. You can use a couple of these tools in conjunction. So don't feel like you're limited. It's not like you have to use only one of these tools and you know, pick one and you're stuck with it forever. You can use all of these tools in conjunction with each other to get the job done. All right, guys, and that looks pretty dang good. So that's how we remove people from your vacation photos in Photoshop. If you wanna do this, just follow these key steps. The first thing to keep in mind is that there are a few different tools that are great for removing people from the background, including the spot healing brush tool, the healing brush tool, the patch tool, the clone stamp tool, and content aware fill. The spot healing brush tool chooses a sample area for you. All you have to do is paint over the person and hope it does a good job. The regular healing brush tool allows you to choose your sample point. It'll choose the texture from wherever you sample and the color from wherever you paint. In this case, you wanna make sure you paint over your entire subject. The patch tool allows you to make a selection around your subject, click inside that selection and drag it out to the area you want it to look like. Basically, it's a large scale healing brush tool. The clone stamp tool is gonna to make an exact copy of wherever you select, which is great for detailed areas like around the glove or if you need to make sure a texture actually repeats. If you want a background to be a little bit more realistic, the clone stamp tool is gonna to give you more accuracy. And lastly, we have content aware fill. Use any selection tool to make a selection around your subject. Go to edit, down to fill, and to content aware fill. It's gonna choose information from around your photo and fill in that information, removing the subject from the background. And keep in mind, you can use any of these tools in combination with one another. In this case, we used a content aware fill and then cleaned up our results with our clone stamp tool. That's all there is to removing people from your photos in Photoshop. Guys, if you love Photoshop and photography as much as I do, go ahead and click on your screen right about now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, just leave it in the comment box right down below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Super cool. Look. For anyone who's taking a picture, in today's episode, we're going to show you how to remove people from your photos.